Washington President Trump delights in making spectacles out of personnel decisions. He conducted cabinet interviews at his New Jersey golf club, inviting members to gather and gawk. He summoned both finalists for a Supreme Court seat to the White House on the day of the announcement. And now he is conducting the most dramatic and drawn-out search for a Federal Reserve Chairman in the long history of the Stolid Institution. M.R. Trump is very publicly deliberating between two candidates with strikingly different views about the practice and purpose of monetary policy, Jerome H. Powell, a Fed governor who has voted in favor of every Fed policy decision since 2012, and John B. Taylor, a Stanford economist who is among the Fed's most vocal critics. The president also continues to insist that he could decide to renominate the Fed's chairwoman, Janet L. Yellen, whose four year term ends in February. The choice of a Fed chairman is always a high stakes political decision, but Mr. Trump's predecessors uniformly sought to minimize the attendant drama. Past presidents have rarely acknowledged the existence of multiple candidates, and, since World War II, Every chairman who completed a first term was nominated for a second term. M.R. Trump, by contrast, announced in July that he was considering candidates to replace M.S. Yellen The White House later confirmed the names of five finalists, then M.R. Trump said publicly he had narrowed his focus to M.R. Powell and M.R. Taylor. On Tuesday, he conducted an informal poll of Senate Republicans, asking them to raise a hand for either M.R. Powell or M.R. Taylor some refused. I don't think that's a very good way to pick a Fed chair, so I declined to participate, said Senator Bob Corker of Tennessee, an increasingly outspoken critic of M.R. Trump's style of governance On Wednesday, M.R. Trump sought advice from a TV personality, turning the tables on Lou Dobbs of Fox Business Network in the middle of an interview. Tell me who your preference is, M.R. Trump said he pressed repeatedly for an answer from the visibly flustered host. M.R. Dobbs finally endorsed M.S. Yellen. M.R. Trump responded, she was very impressive. I liked her a lot I mean. It's somebody that I am thinking about. But, he continued, I have to say you'd like to make your own mark, suggesting that he might be inclined to nominate someone else. The White House would like to announce a final decision by November. 3. Sarah Binder, a professor of political science at George Washington University, said the most unusual aspect of Mr. Trump's deliberations was the diversity of the candidates. Presidents generally decide what kind of chairman they want and then pick a nominee. President Jimmy Carter, who chose twice, first decided that he wanted an industrial executive, settling on G. William Miller, the head of Textron. Nearly 17 months later, deciding he wanted someone respected by financial markets, Mr. Carter picked Paul Volcker. President Ronald Reagan renominated Mr. Volcker, then chose Alan Greenspan, draining the drama from the process for almost two decades. In 2003, President George W.